I did not view Arcadia Bay as a character or wish it was real. If they would make an open world where you just could walk in, I would buy it. Arcadia Bay, I think the characters stood out to me probably more so than the location, but thinking back, a lot of it is is the characters, although they did such a great job with the environment too that that, that does kind of stand out to me, sort of, you know, two whales and the junkyard and all that. It, it's weird because the game is like so dark, but kind of when I think about it, I feel kind of like happy, you know, it's kind of like, it was kind of a, a place that I liked, that I enjoyed being. I guess it's sort of an interesting combination of a place, a concept, a story in and of itself, and a character just because it really does combine all of those elements into a singular thing. And that's why it's almost a place you wish you could visit, a place you wish you could experience, because it is so unique and it is so, I guess, magical in and of itself. It's so interesting. And I think it's one of the things the game does really, really wonderfully is cast that location as its own character. As I began to play through Life is Strange, I became intrigued by Arcadia Bay. I started to think of this town as a character just as defined as Max or Chloe. Over time, I came to realize that I wanted this place to be real somehow. I began doing research and reading theories. I used the addresses on postcards, GPS coordinates, and even a picture on a wall, anything in the game that might lead to something real. I compared game images against real locations I found online. Some of them were very similar, all roads seem to lead to Tillamook Bay, Oregon. So, what else could I really do? I packed my gear and we headed for the west coast. On Friday morning, we landed in Portland and headed for Oceanside, Oregon, passing near Tillamook Bay. The house that would become our base for the next few days was located five minutes away from Cape Mears, 16 minutes to the city of Tillamook, and 32 minutes to the city of Garibaldi. Looking at things, it's just, um, it's hard to believe I'm here. I've seen clips of this so many times from the game and uh, from what other people have shot, so it's hard for me to look at that and believe it's real. The next day turned out cloudy, so I ended up spending the day scouting locations for filming. We traveled through Tillamook, then northward around the bay to the city of Garibaldi. This is where we would begin shooting our comparisons. The first full view we see in the game of Arcadia Bay is a large picture inside Chloe Price's home. It's located on the second floor hallway between the bathroom and Joyce's room. The image has been flipped vertically in the game to put the land outcropping to the right. I really wanted to recreate this shot. Roland, a Garibaldi local, gave me directions to the trail which ran up the hill to the Big G. I found the trail entrance and started at the end of the Garibaldi Elementary School field. As we began to climb up the hill, we found the trail was steep and treacherous, so we abandoned our climb. Sunday turned out to be a clear and beautiful day for filming. Today, I'm in Garibaldi. I'm about as far up the hill as I can get. I'm trying to get that iconic view that we have um, at the upstairs of the Price household there's a picture of Arcadia Bay. I believe it was taken from the big G over on the hill uh, of Garibaldi. I tried to go up the hill and it's inaccessible. It is very steep, very dangerous. So this is the best I can do to replicate that shot. Settling for a shot from a high street overlooking the city, I ran into Roland again. He was nice enough to allow me to film from his deck. Garibaldi does seem like Arcadia Bay, both in its size and layout. Garibaldi Elementary School is located in a similar position to that of the game's Blackwell Academy, though they look nothing alike. In the game, we see a gas station located across from the two whales. We also see it in episode three, when we talk to a trucker and take a photo of his rig. This gas station bears several similarities to a real one in Garibaldi. Both are located on the city's main road and have a large parking area, a similar building, signs, and colors. 
Also, both have the bay behind them, although Tillamook Bay is a little further away than the one in the game. By coincidence, I found an RV parked beside the gas station that looked a lot like Frank's. Directly across the street from the gas station is the Garibaldi House Inn. This sits in the position that the Two Whales does in the game. Sadly, I couldn't find any restaurant in the area that seemed like the Two Whales. About a two-minute drive east from the gas station is Merrill's Scrapyard. This scrapyard is very similar to American Rust. Chloe and Rachel spent time there, and it was featured in episodes two and four of the game. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. Both scrapyards are located off the main road, have railroad tracks that run beside them, and have junked cars and boats. During chapter four of the game, we see several sheets of GPS coordinates from David's investigation. Most of these coordinates fall within Tillamook Bay. A few others fall in the heavily wooded areas to the east of the bay. This is another direct indication that Arcadia Bay is based on Tillamook Bay. Now we leave Garibaldi and travel back southward around the bay, passing through the city of Tillamook. A postcard sent from Rachel states Chloe's address is 44 Cedar Avenue. Arcadia Bay, Oregon, 97141. The city of Tillamook has a Cedar Avenue and a zip code that matches Rachel's postcard, but the house numbering doesn't start until 104. The zip code on the postcard shows that it was mailed from Seaside, Oregon, a real town that's about an hour and 17 minute drive north of Tillamook. From here, we continue to the Cape Mere State Scenic Viewpoint. I truly believe this area was used heavily as inspiration for the game. Starting with the title screen of Life is Strange, we see Arcadia Bay with its lighthouse on a nearby hill. This view is a composite of several places. The outcropping of land that the lighthouse sits on have great similarities to this view taken from the Cape Mere State Scenic Viewpoint and the nearby Pillar Rock. The next thing we notice is the position of the Mears Lighthouse. Its location is in about the same place on the rock outcropping as Arcadia Bay's lighthouse. The most noticeable difference is that the Mears Lighthouse is much shorter than Arcadia's lighthouse. After comparing photos of Oregon lighthouses, I found a lighthouse about two hours south of Mears called the Yaquina Lighthouse. Behind me is the Yaquina Lighthouse. This is a lighthouse that I believe that the uh, game makers used for Life is Strange. This lighthouse is the only other lighthouse in the state that looks similar, and I'm convinced that this lighthouse was the inspiration for Arcadia Bays. After shooting at Equina, I found a French video of a master class given by Life is Strange director Michael Cook. I was lucky enough to have a bilingual friend with me who is fluent in both French and English. Nicole translated parts of the video, and Cook showed images he used for inspiration. One of those images was the Yaquina Lighthouse. Returning to Cape Mears, we find what inspired Max's view of Arcadia Bay from the lighthouse. In the game, we see this iconic shot many times. The view of Short Beach as seen from the hill leading to the Mears Lighthouse is an almost exact match to the game's view. From my vantage point there, it seemed exactly like it, minus the town's buildings. Finally, let's visit the coast of Short Beach and look upward toward the Mears Lighthouse. See how this compares to the coastline view from Arcadia Bay to its lighthouse. After visiting the Tillamook Bay area, I'm convinced that the game makers drew inspiration very heavily from this area of Oregon. Right now, I'm standing on the hill of Garibaldi. You can see the port looking downward, and it really feels like Arcadia Bay. And I would say, more than anything, this feels the most realistic to me. I just get a sense of it like I'm in the game being here. It's almost kind of a magical thing. So for my last day here, which is my birthday by the way, I wanted to spend that in Arcadia Bay. I'm going to uh, drink coffee, eat some birthday cake, and just soak in the vibe of being here. And maybe in some ways let myself pretend that I am in Arcadia Bay.
Through the blizzard. 